Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you all of my cookware and this is the collection that I have right now. I've actually had more containers than these but some of them I threw out. And also I still have these water bladders here but I don't use them for drinking anymore and the reason is that every time I suck on this mouthpiece it tastes like eating plastic and I don't want to have a plastic odor in my drinking water. This water bladder here is BPA free so it's not as bad but still I have to say that I just don't want to drink out of plastic containers anymore and especially those which are very soft. Uh, I'm still keeping these water bladders because maybe one day I have to use it for something else like for example um, you can take this with you in the wilderness, fill it up with water and use it to wash your hands, for example. You can also transport other liquids, which are not for drinking. And this is why I'm still keeping them in my basement. Uh, now for the containers. I had a couple of aluminium containers as well, but I threw them all out and away because aluminium is toxic and I don't want to drink from a toxic container because every time you are filling water inside of the container some tiny particles will go into the water and then you will be drinking it and in respect of aluminium I don't want to risk my health because aluminium is really toxic so most of my containers now are stainless steel which is food grade and titanium which is also food grade I still have two of these plastic containers which I used for drinking sometimes but to be honest I also don't want to drink out of these containers as well anymore so I'm still keeping them because maybe one day I have to transport other liquids like gasoline or lamp oil or something else and that's why yeah I still have them so these two bottles I also don't use anymore for drinking. Now what I still sometimes do is I drink out of these plastic bottles. Sometimes you get them at McDonald's and then very seldomly I drink out of these water bottles here. This one is even recycled from other plastic bottles. But still I don't want to drink out of water bottles on a regular basis. Because here I think the same, I think that plastic particles will leach into the water or even the chemicals. The next thing is any kind of chemicals that treat your water as a disinfectant. I never use those, not once in my life. And I bought this once, but then I did a little bit of research and this is really just not healthy for your body to take it on a regular basis. I've never used this one and I probably never will. Okay, so before we take a look at my containers, I want to show you something else. Okay, this is my heating room in the basement. And recently I threw out all of the old plastic pipes and I've replaced that pipes with stainless steel pipes. And that cost me a lot of money, but I wanted to get rid of all of the plastic pipes. And then here you can see a water filter and I'm really happy that I have this now because it actually filters out all of the particles which are bigger than one micron I believe. Yeah, so it's a really good filter and I can only recommend that you get one because sometimes you get particles in your tap water as well. So a water filter is really essential. Okay, so now as promised I want to show you my other containers that I have. So first of all here is the Nelchin bottle and this is probably the most robust bottle that I have and it comes with a wide mouth opening which is great for cleaning. So this bottle is really bump proof. It's a great bottle. Now the only downside of this Nelchin bottle is that it's super heavy and that's the reason why I almost never use it. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you is this cup here. It's a canteen cup by the US military. And these cups are really hard to get by now because they are not in production anymore. And I also happen to have this lid here by the Pathfinder School. 
which happens to fit the canteen cup perfectly. So that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I do not have a canteen out of stainless steel that fits into the cup, but this Nelchin bottle fits into the cup almost perfectly. Yeah, the next I have this normal cup here by McKinley. It's stainless steel. It has a nice sturdy handle. This is just a cup for coffee or tea. Um, yeah, I almost forgot that the Nelchin bottle here fits this cup, which is by Tatonka, which is also stainless steel. And it happens to have the right size to fit the Nelchin bottle perfectly. Next on, I want to show you these water bottles here. And it's a super cheap canteen set, which I got from Amazon. I think it's only cost me like 20 euros, which is really cheap. So if you are on a budget, I would definitely get this canteen. And there's also this cup, which comes in the set. Yeah, that's a really sturdy cup. And if you put it into the fire, uh, you can use the handle as a leg and then uh, it's not so easy to knock over the cup anymore. And if you have butterfly handles, that's not so much the case because these are not as sturdy. And yeah, they can still function as a leg, but they move to the side a lot. So uh, it might still happen that you knock over the cup. Now the next thing is, if you take a look at the canteen here, the mouth is really small and this canteen therefore is very hard to clean. Uh, that's the reason I almost never use this canteen because I'm too lazy to clean it properly. And you would need a toothbrush and other small brushes and you have to do some furrow cleaning. Also here you can see that the lip has been turned over inside of the canteen. And there's a lot of dirt which is underneath the lip here, which is really hard to clean out, okay? And the next thing is, it comes with a rubber seal, which is inside of the cap, but I've already lost it because it's not really holding very well inside of the cap. I think this one still has the rubber seal. Yeah, this one still has it. So you really have to take care that you're not losing the rubber seal because otherwise the canteen will leak. Now the canteen shape that I like the most is this one here. This is a canteen and cup set which I've gotten from Heavy Cover and it's produced by Keith. This is made from titanium, it's super lightweight and it also has a big mouth. So this is how big the mouth is and this is much easier to clean. And this titanium canteen set comes with a titanium cup as well, which is nice. And it comes with a lid. And that's super awesome because you want to have a lid. If you cook your water in the fire and you're not using the lid, the water will taste smoky. And that's why you want to cover the water. And also, of course, with the lid, it's boiling much faster. Now this here is my carrier, which I really love. So usually I take the lid and I put it in the bottom of the carrier. Then I take my canteen set. So now the bottle is inside and then you just flip over the strap here and buckle the bottle together and then you can wear this on your shoulder which is awesome um, next I want to put my cutlery which I found on Amazon as well into the side pouches I think this is maybe the best invention for cutlery I also do have cutlery which comes in one piece but it's really big and that's why I wanted to get cutlery which is foldable so that's really awesome. And I have a spoon as well. And now I just want to put this into the side pouch here. 
so I carry this bottle when I go out into the forest, but sometimes I just take this water bottle, especially when I know that I don't have to boil water. This is basically my EDC uh, stainless steel bottle. And this is what I carry in my get home bag, in my everyday rucksack. Yeah, it's just a regular stainless steel bottle with a wide mouth. It's easy to clean. And in an emergency situation, you could also boil some water inside of the bottle here. Okay, then I also want to show you my cooking stove. This is the Apo one cooking stove, which runs with an alcohol burner. So you just feel ethanol into here, light it up, and then you can cook yourself a meal. And it also comes with this lid here. And after you're done, you just close the burner and that's it. Now I want to come to my bigger cooking pots. So I've had this one for a couple of years. This one here is by Tatonka. It's a really nice kettle. Pretty awesome. I've used it a couple of times in the wilderness and it comes with a really nice usable lid. And I love this pot because it's small and it's perfect for one person. The only thing is that unfortunately I've lost the original handle. So now I just use this handle which I found in my basement. And it's not the perfect handle I gotta say. So I have to look into a replacement. So normally the handle looks like this. This is a new kettle that I bought. I believe it's by Tatonka as well. Yeah. So this one is a huge kettle and it comes with a huge lid which you can use for making breakfast like making some bacon and the eggs inside and this one you can use for boiling noodles so yeah i wanted to get this big one not for camping but for my camper van and here you can see that i have a ton of scratches inside of the lid and the uh, Pot. and that's normal when you're cooking so sooner or later you will get scratches that's the reason why you don't want to have aluminium as cookware because with every scratch you would get like a couple of particles into your food and that's why you only want to use food grade materials for your pots and pans now here I've also bought a small bowl which is by the company MSR yeah it's just great to have a bowl when you go camping. And then I finally got this one here. The MSR Seagull stowaway pot, I believe. I've always wanted to get this one and quite recently I finally bought it. And I really like how this pot is made. So you have this flap here, you open it like this and then you can take off the lid so here you have your lid it's not as great as the one by Tatonka because here you can easily uh, take the lid for cooking as well so with this lid it's a little bit hard to cook because it doesn't come with a handle anymore but the pot itself is awesome look at this look at how long the handle is it's much longer than the one from Tatonka and if you have a hot fire, you want to have a long handle. So that's really awesome. The pot has a great size as well. And you can also use it as a pan because it's pretty wide. So I really love this pot and you can use the lid as a plate. Alrighty, so this was a review of my favorite pans and pots and canteen sets and everything that I own. If you are on a budget, I think that this canteen set is definitely no mistake. Yeah, okay, it comes with a small mouth, but at least it's stainless and it's not harming your health. And if you have a little bit more money, I would go for a titanium canteen cup set. And also for EDC, I highly recommend these bottles. And you can get them on Amazon for about 10 bucks and as i said before for the cooking beer i would go for msr siegel or tatonka yeah that's pretty much all 
I have right now and I'm really happy that I have high quality gear and this will last you a long time. And if you're interested in one of these products, I will try to find out the Amazon links and I will post them in the description below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.